Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to create Instagram style model. Now Instagram style model is very unique. Let me show you how. So this is my Instagram page that I have just created solely for the purpose of this tutorial. So that's why it's so boring. It has only one post. So before I click on this post, if you notice this URL, that's the URL of my home page. Now if I click on the post, you can see this post appears as a model. So model simply means uh, something is sitting on top of something else. So this post appears to be sitting on top of my home page. So that's what make it a model. Okay. Now usually with the models, the URL does not change. But with Instagram model, if you notice, the email address has been changed as well. However, if I copy this address and paste this in new window or tab, you can see now this is a normal web page. It does not have any impression of being a model. So that's unique about Instagram post. If you go to a post through your homepage, the post will act as a model. However, if you directly get to the post through its URL, it will act as a normal web page. So today we are going to learn how to recreate this behavior. So let's start coding shading. And for our coding shading, I am going to use Visual Studio. And over here, I have only created two HTML files. Both of them are empty. One is index.html and other is model.html. So this index is going to be the main page and model is going to be the post which we are going to show as a model. So before I start coding, let me warn you in advance. The goal of this video is to clone Instagram model behavior and because it's going to require a few things. So I will be focusing on them. But if on top of that, I pay attention to my styling, it not only going to stretch the length of the video, but it's also going to distract you from the main focus. So please just overlook that nasty looking web pages. And I'm going to recreate this behavior using fetch shape API and history API both of which are already part of our browser technologies so I don't need to install any libraries or packages so let's start with index.html boilerplate code for the index.html I want a title some text and a button which is going to act as a click on the post but let me open it in the browser using live server So I have opened the browser and the editor side by side so that we can immediately see the changes that I make in the HTML file. So the first thing that I want is a heading. It's going to be index page. The second one is going to be the div. Let's call it main div. And I'm going to put some text. And underneath this div, I'm going to put another div, the class ID model. I'm keeping this div empty because this div is going to be populated dynamically with our model.html code. And that code is going to act as a model sitting on top of this index.html page. And this will happen when we click on the uh, button. So this button is basically going to simulate the click on the post in our Instagram. So this button is going to simulate the click on the post on our Instagram account. So that's why I'm going to give it caption show post. Okay. So even though I said no styling, but we do require some styling. Otherwise, it's so disgusting to look at, but it's going to be very minimalistic. So that's why I'm going to use inline styling. So for our H1, I want it to be simply placed in the center. Now I want some left and right margins to this text. So style is... So for the top and bottom margins, I'm going to use 1%. And for the left and right, I'm going to use, let's say, maybe 12%. Okay, that's better. Now I want this show button to be placed in the center as well. Let's give it some left margin. Let's say 
let's see how it looks that's better now all i need to do is give this background some color and create some space between these lines because right now they are quite squashed together so let's go to the body and style is background color and i am going to use white smoke okay and line height is going to be two okay so that much styling is enough for our purpose now let's move on to our model.html file now because the instagram posts are usually images so it's a good idea to put an image in our model html as well so the only thing that we are putting over here is image with source let's go to pixel okay how about this one copy image location and insert it over here okay now we need to open it in our browser okay so this is how it looks so it's consuming whole page so let's give this some height and width so again inline styling width is going to be let's say 500 pixels and height 500 pixels okay that should do now the only styling that we require over here is place this image in the center of our web page and for that we are going to set its margins so the margin top should be 14 percent and the left and right margins should be 24 percent let's see how it looks full screen okay that's too much top margin so i need to change it okay that's better now all i need to do is give some background color this okay, again so inline style background color is white smoke okay so that's all the styling now if we do any further styling that will be solely for the purpose of making this page appear as a model on top of our index page now the first thing that we need for this web page to appear as a model on top of our index web page is let's go back to index.html and if you notice this div that i have left empty i have to do some styling over here so this div that i have left empty i am going to dynamically populate this web page as this divs inner html contents but before that let me put some more styling for our model class so the first thing that i want is that i want this div to be positioned at top of the window so for that i have to set its position property to absolute then top to be zero okay and the next thing that i want to do is define its width and height so the width of this div is going to be all the width of this window likewise the height of this div is going to be all the height of this web page so i'm going to say width is going to be 100 percent viewing width and height is also going to be 100 percent viewing height okay and i want its background color to be shade of gray with some opacity so rgba and for opacity let me put 0.4 okay maybe let's make it slightly darker let's make it 0.5 okay this is the first step so this is going to be the area around our image the next thing is i want the image over here in this div so that image is going to be populated dynamically so that means we have to use javascript so again it's a very minimalistic javascript i'm not going to create another file so i'm going to create a script over here but before i write any script let me set the display property of our model div to be none so that by default it's not visible and it gets visible only when we click on this show button so that means in our javascript we need to define click event for this button 
so we need a reference to the button so button is I'm going to access this now this button constant holds a reference to our button in the index web page and now we have to define click event listener for this button so btn dot event listener is click and I am using arrow function so what should be the logic of this arrow function remember this show post button actually represents the thumbnail of our post in our instagram home page so when i click on this show button it means i am clicking on one of the posts on our instagram page what should happen is that a http request goes to our model.html page grab its content and bring it back to this arrow function and this happens without reloading our index.html page and once this arrow function gets those contents those contents should be dynamically appended as the inner html as the inner html of our model do and because we want all of this to happen behind the scenes we don't want our index.html to be reloaded or redirected to some other page that means we have to use fetch api so fetch api is one of the apis which is already implemented by all the browsers so we don't need any import library or anything we simply have to use so we are going to say fetch the parameter to this fetch is going to be the url where we want our http request to go and get the data from get the data or content or whatever our intentions are so for the url we are going to say model.html and this fetch is going to return us a promise the next step that we want to happen we have to enclose it in then function so this fetch is returning you a promise which simply means i promise you a response will be returned back to you so this then says okay so when the response does come back from this fetch request what should happen to that response well again so we want to convert that response into simple text form so the response can come into many different forms but for the purpose of our tutorial we want this response to be converted back into text form so we are going to say response dot so basically this fetch sends a http request to our model.html so this model.html sends back a http response which has many things besides this html code we want that response to be converted back into the text form once this text is returned we use another then and within this then we are referring to this text as data and we want this data to be appended as inner html up over this this model div where is it this one okay so that means so that means we need a reference to this div so let's create a reference const model is document dot query selector we are interested in model class which is the class we have given to this div okay now over here we want to append this data as inner html of this model div so we'll say model dot inner html equals this data but since this is not the only statement that we are going to use inside this then function so i have to put it inside curly bracket so that i can insert some more line of code as well so once we inserted this data the next thing that we should do is because we had said the display property of our model div to be none we have to make it visible so we are going to say model dot style dot display equals block okay so far so good now let's give it a try and see the coding that we have done so far is it working or not so so this is our index.html page when i click on this show button it's going to grab these contents and 
display it on top of this index.html page and this is going to give us an impression of a model. Okay. Now the next thing that we need to handle is that if you notice the URL has not changed. It is still the same URL index.html which is equivalent to the home page URL of our Instagram page. So we want this URL to change from home page at home page URL to the URL of our this image. And to do that, we have to take advantage of another built-in API that is available with the browsers, which is history API. So history API has many different methods, but we are interested in push state method of history API. And what does push state function do? To put simply, the push state is going to update our URL in the address bar without actually jumping to that web page or displaying the content of that page. So our web page stays where it is, but the URL changes. So we are going to say history. So history is an object which is by default present in our DOM. So history dot push state. And this push state takes three parameters, first two of which are not relevant to us. So I'm going to put null over here. So whatever we put over here is going to be displayed in the address bar. So I'm going to say model.html. So even if you put any anything over here which actually doesn't exist, which isn't even a valid URL, the browser won't check if it's a valid URL or not. It will simply replace your current URL with this URL. Okay, so let's give it a go. So now you can see we are not only seeing our post as a model, but if you notice, the address has been changed as well even though behind the scene we can see the index.html page. Now if I click on this back button, the, the index will change from model.html to index.html but I will still be able to see this page. And this is exactly the behavior that our Instagram pages show as well. So if you go back to our Instagram page, so if I click on this back button, so if I click on this back button, you can see the my URL is the home page URL, but I can still see the this post as a, a model. Okay, the second behavior was if we copy this URL and directly open it into new tab or new window, it will appear without behaving as a model element. Document is behaving like that as well. Copy and paste. So now you can see here we, we are able to see our actual web page but not as a model but if we come to this page from index.html we can see the same page being displayed as a model element. So that is the end of today's tutorial. I hope you liked it and if you did please like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much.